So what makes a good putting routine? If you take a practice stroke, some people like to do it behind the ball looking down the line, but then you better trust that line from that you're seeing from behind. Some people like to do it to the side. Again, I talked about a practice stroke that that is the same as your actual stroke, which is back through hold the finish. Don't just swish it back, start again in the middle. Back through hold the finish. Now, when you set up, the first thing you do, you're going to set the putter. And, and when you set the putter on the line, at the, at the aim that you want, you're done with that. So the first thing you say is, done with direction. I'm committed. I'm going to hit it where the putter's pointing. I'm going to start every putt like a straight putt. Then you get a feel <clears throat> for the pace, and you look, and you, and you get a sense of it. And you say, well, first you say, after you've done your practice swings, or, or if you already know what you're, you have confidence in your stroke, you say, I got the stroke. Then you say, I got the line. Now the last thing you do is look for about three seconds to see the whole putt and say, I got the pace. When you look back down, bring that image to mind, that image of the whole putt. And if you want to take a breath there, take a breath, let it all the way out, and then roll it into the picture. Some people like to take their breath before they walk into a dress. Some people like to take it as they're taking their address. Some people like to take it just be as kind of a way to take the putter back. Breathe out, take it back, and away you go. So that's a suggested uh, for your routine. Do you feel like obviously the the same routine for all putts is key? I feel like too many guys are you know doing it for this one and then not doing it for that one. The one part that always kind of challenges me though a little bit sometimes, I know I'm not alone, is when you do miss a putt and you still got to hit the next one. I know you're a big fan of post shot routines and yeah. in the full swing, we don't have as much time, you know, to put the club back in the bag or whatever the, your post shot ritual is. So what would you say to people to quickly kind of forget about that putt and then prepare for that next one? Okay, so the first thing is the distinction. Did I make the putt, but the ball missed the hole, or did I miss hit the putt? Okay, if you miss hit the putt, you can't learn anything from it, because you don't know if that's what caused it to do what it did, or if the break and the speed were, and the slope were what caused it to do what it did. So the first thing you do there is you go, don't leave that spot, just make another stroke. Mm. and hold finish and so a, re a replacement stroke placement stroke you go okay and take a breath because you're not happy <laughs> take a breath calm yourself down and then make the replacement stroke you go, there that's my stroke then walk in and read the comebacker okay or the or the next putt that you didn't that didn't reach the hole okay if you if you love the way it left because that's the key if, if you don't take anything from this podcast for putting and for every shot. Your goal is not about how it comes out. It's loving the way it leaves the club face. If you love the way it leaves the club face, chances are it's gonna be pretty good. And if not, you can learn something from it. So if you love the way it left the putter, then that you like the speed, you like the line, you like the stroke, you made your putt. Then you go, huh. Why didn't it do what I thought it did? So take a moment and be an objective detective and look around and say, what didn't I see that was there? Or what did I thought, what did I think I saw that wasn't there? And you get better at green reading that way. And don't get too frustrated as the ball rolls by the hole. Watch what it does as the ball rolls by the hole. Remember the fall line, and especially if you're hitting a, an uphill comebacker, it's going to be a lot straighter than the downhill putt because it was trying to find the fall line as it went by the hole. Gosh, yeah, that's like three really good points there because I feel like when most guys just get so frustrated, they don't watch that fall line. They're usually saying something negative to themselves or their game. Then they rush up to the next one, maybe don't even read or go through the routine, and then you might miss another one. It's a brutal game, <laughs> and I like that. And remember, if you had a downhill putt, that's why I gave you that drill. If you have a downhill putt, it's really hard to hit the next one hard enough to come back or hard. Mm -hmm. If you went by the hole, your next one's an uphill putt. And right. it's hard to hit that one because you think, well, if I hit it too hard, now I'm going to have a three-foot downhiller again, and I, and I don't want a five-putt. <laughs> so <laughs> so, so it's, it's, it's hard to do that. You have to, re, you have to really take a fresh start.
Yeah, those are great. As, and put it as an uphill putt. 